This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog or top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people Thank you all for tuning in And here we are The end of day 2 In this third and final test match Against England and I tell them my viewers and subscribers, the more things change, the more they remain the same. You know, we started off day two on a positive note. You know, we went out there and we took two early wickets. You know, England resuming on 30 odd. I think it was 38 for three. We went and got two wickets quickly, put them down um, to five. <laughs> Boy. After that, my viewers and subscribers, I have never seen so much short pitch bowling in my life, especially when it came on to the tail enders. But I'm going to go through the scorecard. Just give a listening ear and let me know what you all think in the comment section. So West Indies, they once again find themselves on the back foot, you know, going into day three of this final test match. Um, England, they ended up getting 376 all out, 376 all out. And, you know, at the close of play, West Indies batting a second time, they were 33 for two, you know, still trailing by 61 runs, still trailing by 61 runs, my viewers and subscribers. Really, really, um, tough, really tough. You know, the captain is already gone and Kurt McKenzie Basically, um, sticking to the pattern of this tour so far, getting dismissed um, really cheaply, you know. But I'm going to go through the re um, England, uh, the rest of England's batting, and then I will focus on what's going to happen tomorrow. So England, as I said, they resumed having lost um, three wickets. I think they were 38 for 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 three. You understand? They went they went on to get 376. No, West Indies having lost two wickets at 33, you know, 33 for two. We should be looking and should be looking to, you know, we should be looking to replicate what England did to us today. You understand? So, um, it was the wicket keeper, Batsman Smith, that really held us hostage, you know, alongside Wokes, Stokes, and Joe Root. You know, Joe Root eventually fell to Goodikish Moti um, for 87. Ben Stokes made 54 of 69. Um, Smith was bowled by Shamar Joseph for 95, you know, agonizingly short of his first test century. Uh, Chris Wokes, he made 62 from 78. And even Gus Atkinson was giving us some problems, you know, 21 of 16, um, two sixes and one four. Now, <laughs> I, w I was saying at the beginning that I don't know if I've ever seen so much short pitch delivery um, in, in my life. You know, it's, it, it was really tough to watch. It was tough to watch. Um, the captain, I don't know. I, I can't even blame the captain too much because the bowling was just all over the place. I don't know if it was because of the field setting, um, field placement while the bowling was all over the place. Or it was because of the bowling, while the field, the field placement was all over the place. You know, the batsmen, they could easily push the ball anywhere, get a one, get a two. When the, when the bad balls came, they could just easily um, put them away for four or six. And it was a whole lot of that. You know, I saw even one over bowler going for 17, man going for 12, you know, 15. And I'm like, this is not ODI, this is not T20 cricket. It was just, it was just, it was just bad. It was extremely bad, my viewers and subscribers. You understand? When you have your lead pacer, um, economy being almost seven, you know that is nothing good. You understand? Um, so, you know, bowling for the West Indies, Alzari Joseph, 17.4 overs, two maidens, 122 runs, four wickets. Jaden Seals, 19 overs, one maiden, 79 runs, three wickets. Um, Shamar Joseph, uh, 13 overs, 63 runs, 2 wickets. Jason Ola, 7 overs, 31 runs, no wicket. Goody Kishmoti, 19 overs, 2 maidens, 61 runs, uh, 1 wicket. Just to remind you of the economy rates, right? Alzari Joseph, 6.91. Jaden C is 4.16. Um, Shamar Joseph, 4.85. Uh, Jason Hola, 
uh 4.43 and moti 3.21 so it was it was it was it was um rough it was difficult to watch my people and as i said having taken those um three wickets yesterday we were hoping that they would push on you understand and they struck quite early this morning because you know uh, moving from 30 it was it wasn't even um 38 for three it was 31 for three moving from third uh, well they, they resume at 38 for three um you know moving from 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 there they went all the way up to 50 well they went to 51 for four and then 54 for five you understand so two quick wickets but you know we found it very difficult to dislodge um ben stokes and joe root so the score went from 54 for five all the way up to 169 for six then 231 for seven uh 337 for eight 363 for nine and all the way up to 376 you know um personally i believe that um when you're bowling to to not even t tail enders but you know when you are pretty close to to bowling to the to the tail enders you still need to have good plans you understand you can't just believe because you have pace you're going to run in and bowl a lot of short pitch balls and and they're just going to miscue them you understand you still have to you still have to make sure you have plans and if 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 that is the plan to bowl short and try and get them out caught and it's not working, you have to look to switch it up. You can't, and I've been saying this from the beginning of the series, you can't look to stick to the same thing because you believe that is what's going to work. You know, that, that, that is what separates um, an ordinary captain from brilliant captains. You understand? Um, you have to be able to think on the spot. And as I said, I saw some really bad field placements but it's difficult to even say boy Bradway because the bowlers they were all over the place this minute the ball a sharp ball down the leg side the next ball went um we go past the, the, the bat the next one like three four inches outside of something the next one is a short pitch it was just atrocious you understand and having said all of that still you know my people having said all of that about the bowling 376 is not the worst thing in the world to dismiss a top a top international team for in a test match, you know. I mean, if you're looking at yes, based on how they start, based on where we had them, you know, we probably should have cleaned it up um earlier. 376 isn't the worst thing in the world. But when you have a team get when you have your team making 282 and then probably probably second innings can make another 200, that that, that is not good. That no good none at all. You understand? As I said, we got 282 and bowl them out for 376. Obviously, based on how we started, we would have liked to, to, to keep them under that. You know, we, we shouldn't have allowed them to get such a lead. But at the same time, 376 is not the worst in the world. It's because we got bowled out for 282. That is an ODI score. You understand? An ODI score that you can't get bowled out in a, in, you can't get bowled out for them sort of something there. You understand? So it's going to be very interesting to see how it goes. Um, the captain Brathwaite won't be there tomorrow morning to help us occupy the crease. He he played after one and lost his, his, his thumb. Boy, I tell you, I don't know. I don't know my viewers and subscribers. He was bowled by walks without scoring. You understand? Set up and bowled all over the place. Louis is still there fighting. 18 from 38. Um, Kurt McKenzie. He came eight from eighteen. Same thing, my viewers and subscribers. Don't look as no, no look as if he's 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 um he's 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 going to um well not even say he's going to have a strong strong tour because it, this is the last innings. But you know he will have to go back to the drawing board. He will he will probably have to go back to the drawing board. You understand? Arthur is is there five of twenty three. So you know we still trail by sixty one. Um, so far, Wokes and Atkinson, they are the ones um, to have picked up wicked. So it's going to be interesting to see how day three go. You know, we could lose this game tomorrow. Uh, we're probably going to have to depend on these guys again, you know, um, to, to, to put over, put up so 100 hard partnership. But let us see, my people. Let us see. Go and leave it right here so far now. Big up on yourself.